Dancomish Holdings Perhad is incorporated in Malaysia under the Act on 17 June 2013 as a public limited company. Dancomish primarily involved in trading and distribution of process control equipment and measurement instruments. Their focus area is mainly in the palm oil and oleochemicals, oil and gas, petrochemical and water treatment, and sewerage industries. Their products are including actuator, ball valve, blowdown valve, and butterfly valve. Firstly, we will look at the liquidity position of Dunkomish Holdings per head. For both current ratio and quick ratio, the liquidity position of Dunkomish is most favorable in the year of 2016 compared in the year of 2020. This means that Dunkomish Holdings Perhat has higher ability in meeting its short-term obligation in the year 2016 compared to the year 2020. Dunkomish Holdings Perhat also has a huge debt compared to the other four years. The liquidity position of Dunkomish Holdings Perhat kept getting lower from 2017 to 2018 and slightly increased in 2019 but fall in 2020. Thus, the liquidity position of Dunkomish Holdings Perhat is poor in the year 2020 rather than 2016. Dunkomish Holdings per head also did not have the ability in meeting its short term obligation because both current ratio and quick ratio kept getting lower year by year. Based on the chart, the activity ratio is constantly changing for every year from 2016 to 2020. For inventory turnover, the Gomez Holdings per head is most efficient in year 2020 in replacing its stock of goods during a particular period which is 2.29 times compared to year 2017 which is 1.77 times. Same as total asset turnover ratio, the Gomez Holdings per head has a greatest ability in generating cash and sale in year 2020 due to revenue has increased from year to year. However, the ratio in fixed asset turnover in year 2020 is only 1.85 times. It indicates that the company has the lowest fixed asset turnover because of a firm utilized its asset to generate revenues ineffectively. While in 2016 until 2019, the company managed to get a better ratio in generating revenues as it used the asset effectively and continued to fall sharply. For the average collection period, we can clearly see that the company takes too much days in collecting credit sale or debt. It shows that the company is not well managed to shorten the period of collecting credit sale or debt for 5 years even though 2019 is the shortest period. The patterns on the chart are irregular and reach until 124 days to collect that unhealthy for the company performance. So now, we move to leverage ratio. Regarding to the chart of debt ratio, then Kamil Holdings Berhad is able to manage to keep the lower amount of debt and has lower dependency on debt as a source of funds for 4 years which is 2016 until 2019. However, it is getting higher in year 2020 that only 23.42%. This happened because of the company has increased the huge amount of debt with all of a sudden in that year. In year 2019, the company accomplished to have the best performance in debt equity ratio within 5 years. The percentage of debt equity ratio is only 0.83%. As the company increased the amount of debt, it leads to the higher of debt equity ratio in year 2020 that is 7.1%. However, the amount of debt actually can help the company to grow their business. The amount of time interest earned in year of 2016 is 3,147.86 times. It is the highest times among 5 years. It shows that this company has an ability to serve its interest payment obligation as the percentage of debt ratio is less than 50%. Based on the graph shown, 
Daiko Mesh Holdings Berhad has the highest ratio on both gross profit margin and operating profit margin in 2016, 40.84% 40 and 29.35% respectively. This happens when the company doing well in achieving their sales and minimizing their cost of sales. Next, Danko Mesh Holdings Berhad has the highest percentage of ratio in 2016 for the net profit margin 21.72% and return on total asset 11.55%. Meanwhile, in 2018, for the return on equity 20.89%, the company managed to generate their profits after deducting all the expenses. Danko Mesh Holdings Berhad doing well in 2016 in the span of 5 years from 2016 to 2020. Meanwhile, in 2020, the percentages have been the lowest because of the economic problems due to COVID-19 outbreak. Last but not least, Danko Mesh Holdings Berhad need to improve their profitability through their operation as evidenced by decreasing in all profitability ratios. They need to manage their sales well and minimize calls of sales in order to gain a good profitability ratio. Danko Mesh Harding Berhad earning per share is at 9 cent in 2016 and it decreased to 4 cent in 2017. Danko Mesh managed to increase their earning per share to 5 cent in 2018 and their value remained constant at 5 cent until 2020. The company performance is not really good as the earning per share is low but the company still managed to pay the earning per share in the 5 years. It is better for a company to have a higher earning per share because higher value indicates a higher profit per share. The price earning ratio for Danko Mesh increased in 2017 from 4.23 times to 11.10, but the value dropped to 4.47 in 2018 and did not change much since then until 2020. A higher price earning ratio will increase the investor confidence for the company's future prospects. Danko Mesh Harding Berhad should increase their revenue because it can reduce the amount of debt in their operation of company. There are several ways to increase the revenue such as raising the price of goods or reducing the cost of operation. In conclusion, Danko Mesh Holdings Berhad has an unfavorable performance in most of the ratio which are market profitability, leverage and liquidity ratio. Even though the company decreasing in ratios performance every year, the company managed to work efficiently in generating sales and cash. Darko Mesh Holdings Berhad need to improve many things in order to be operating well. The company need to make new strategies in order to survive in this industry.